What is going on, guys? Now you gotta be looking at this saying, what the hell? What is he doing with dish soap? And why does he even have this anywhere near his car? And you gotta be asking yourself that. And this is about to be why. Look what is on my hood right now, guys. Look what is on my hood. It is every Meguiar's wax that they actually sell. You can buy normal over-the-counter stuff. We're talking Walmart, AutoZone, or whatever, without actually going into the professional series where you have to order it for the pro detailers and stuff like that. I have never, ever seen this done on YouTube. I have tried to find it. I cannot find it anywhere. Somebody compares them all for I was always wondering how is the NXT compared to the Ultimate, compared to the Gold Class. I knew Cleaner Wax was their entry level, but I didn't know any better. And I've tried to find reviews on it. Nobody has it out there. So I'm thinking it's probably going to be one of my most popular ones. The last time I did one of these comparisons was with Cleaner Wax versus the Gold Class. And the last time I, but that video has well over, I think, 6,000 hits on it just in the last couple of months. So I know this is going to be really important to you guys. So what we're going to do to make this fair, well, hence why I have the Paul model dish soap up there, we're gonna, I already have stuff on here right now. The car is fully cleaned right now. It's been sitting in the garage the last probably four or five days. I haven't driven it. We're going to totally strip down any of the previous wax down here. Take it straight down to the bone. That's why I have that out there. That's why I'm getting and prepping it up for wax. The only thing I'm going to do now is the hood. So what I'm going to do is I'll be blue taping off every area and waxing it straight down the middle here, guys. And then I'll actually leave the control. I know this is like a science project back when you were in high school. And I actually did really good on those. I went to state finals on them. But uh, we're going to leave a controlled uh, section. So it's just going to be regular car how it is. And then the other sections will be the waxes. So that way we can tell from what I'm thinking is probably their cheaper line, their cleaner wax, the gold class, and then the tech wax, and then ultimate wax. And then the far end will be the controlled where uh, it won't have any wax on it. So here we go, guys. I'm about to wash the just the hood down here and strip it down to the bare essentials. And then we'll uh, follow up from there, and I'll start taking it. I'll put it back in the garage, blue tape it off, and actually just step by step I'll apply the wax. And I'll uh, keep you informed and up to date the whole way. So this video might be a little bit longer, so bear with me. But trust me, this is one you definitely want to stay in here for. Stay tuned. All right, guys. I've actually finished washing the car here. It's uh, the, well, the front hood, anyways. I did the hood. You can see the bucket's still outside. Everything has been washed, so I wanted to make sure this is good. Now, to do a proper scientific test to make sure everything, the playing field is totally fair, you know I'd already stripped down the wax by making sure I used the Dawn and stuff like that. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is use the McGuire's clay bar kit. And this is the stuff that actually comes in the clay bar kit. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure there's no imperfections in it before we wax. Now this is what they tell you to do all the time, but I want to make sure we're doing it right step by step. So we're about to hit it up now, and we're going to go ahead and clay bar just the hood. And then I'm going to go ahead and start taping it off section by section. And I'll show you in a minute here what, which is going to be in each section. And then, of course, we're going to have the control section that is not going to have any wax on it at all. And then we'll start uh, waxing everything. So stay tuned. All right, guys, the claying is done on the hood. It took about, I don't know, five, less than ten minutes to get it done. I mean, I, I went over everything twice just to make sure everything was proper and smooth. So now I run my hand across. Silent, dead silent. This is what you want to hear, and it feels just like you're putting your hand on a mirror. Okay, it's really smooth. Now, I knew my car really didn't need a lot of claying. I mean, it had probably been about six months since I clayed it. Can you see this good, guys? Get a little bit on the edge there, but overall, the clay is not that bad. Now, this is from the whole hood now. And normally, what I do is every section I go ahead and, as soon as it starts getting dirty, I fold it over. This time I didn't, because I really wanted to show you how much dirt is actually on the hood. So it wasn't that bad. There's the side I was using for my fingers. And then, yes, I did put it out a little wide. It's no big deal. And there's the side. So the car actually isn't that bad, but I, it could have used a good claim. Let's put it that way. It's been six months, so it was time for a good one. So now we're going on. Now I'm going to go ahead and start taping it off, and I'll put another video, and we're going to show which section we're going to have on each section. All right, stay tuned. All right, guys, you ready to go racing? We got racing stripes on our car. Now we're ready to hit the track. All right, guys, here's what we're going to do. I've already taped it off now. Everything is taped off in sections. So we are going to go give you the breakdown of how it's going to go in a science experiment. Your sides are going to be a control. So we're going to have control here. That means no wax on this at all. It's been applied. Nothing. I stripped it down. Part two is going to be the cleaner wax. Okay, so the section two is cleaner wax. Third section I'm going to wax is the gold class. So it's going to be right down almost the middle. The fourth section, I haven't even opened up yet, because I'm going to do it in a second here, is the Meguiar's NXT Tex Wax 2.0. So that's going to be in this section right here. The Meguiar's Ultimate Paste, which I know is their high-end stuff, is going to be in this last section here. 
Okay, and then on the far right side of the panel is gonna be control again. So that way we have a control on each side. That way you can compare a control to the products. So you can get better aspects of it, maybe for at this end or that end. So that'll help you out a little bit here. I also, the way I arrange them is the wet, the money they actually cost in a store. Let's say you went to Walmart and bought this. Your cleaner wax is by far the cheapest. I think it's about $8. Your gold class is about 11 to $12. Your Tex wax is about $18 and your ultimate pace is about $22. So there we go, that's how I arrange them. So there's no me picking is which one's better or not. It's not, we're doing this just by the fact that way, the way they cost. So I'm assuming now this is the way they're gonna come out in the test. So next now I will begin pasting it. I will begin doing the swirl marks across it. That's how I do it. And I'll have everything covered and then I'll update you in a second here, stay tuned. All right guys, now everything has been waxed now in its proper sections. I'll let you see some of the results. You can see, not the results, but how they turned out. You can notice now on the clear wax and the gold class, you can actually make it out. One thing is the tech wax and the paste wax use a different type of wax, not the carnauba or anything like that. And notice how it's a lot harder to see? They will not tell you this. And I waxed my white car out there. If you've seen my other video, which did an amazing job on it, but Lord have mercy, do you know how hard it is to actually see clear on a white car? You're doing this the whole time. So, here we go. Every section's done. I made sure I went over it twice. I overlaid everything. Uh, I didn't want to miss one section now. So what we're gonna do is give it the finger swipe test, and this side's probably already done. Now it's smearing a little bit, so it's not right done. That's how you can tell if the wax is done. Just give it a little uh, smear test. If it uh, smears on you, it's not done yet. If it wipes right off, then it's good to go. So we're gonna give it a few more minutes here. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off with a microfiber towel. And then what I'll do is uh, roll the car back outside. We'll hit it with some water for the final uh, review. So here you go. We're almost done, guys. Hang in there with me. All right, bye-bye. All right, guys, here we go. We're gonna be wrapping, well, so we're second to last from wrapping it up. Let's just say that. So here we go, we're outside. Everything is lined up. Everything has been waxed. I haven't pulled the tape off yet, so I'm gonna go show ahead and some uh, differences. See if there's any differences on it that you really see that you might like. There we go. I mean, granted, everything went on really good. Actually, I'll tell you now, the tech wax was actually the easiest to get off. When I was wiping it off, it's the easiest to get off. The hardest one to get off was the cleaner wax, by far. Uh, the ultimate paste came off relatively easy, and so did the gold class. And there we go. So, maybe you can't tell the best things right now, but they did do, all do very good, in my opinion. There we go. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna pull, peel the tape off because I'd rather do it this way. So, here we are we're pulling tape off. Remember when you're pulling tape, guys, pull the angle away. It helps keep from the paint ruining your, uh, tape ruining your paint or anything like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this all the way down and then we're gonna do the water test. All right, so hang in there, we're almost done. I know it's been long. Quick jump back here. I just pulled the tape off. I haven't polished it off yet, but I really wanted to show you something. You can actually tell what has been waxed and what has not been waxed. I hope you can see this on the videos. I mean, they look dull. It doesn't look the same where the tape was. So you can truly see the wax is doing its job. I am sorry if I am not showing the good results or anything. Here we go. There you go. So you can actually tell it's more dull where the tape was. And it has been waxed. Now I'm gonna go ahead and buff out all that excess uh, wax real quick and then we're doing the wash rest. One second, guys. All right, guys, end all be all. Here's the very finale of the video. I know it has been long, a long time coming, but I'm telling you, it's gonna be well worth it because now you get to actually see the differences. And nobody else on YouTube has done that. So you guys got to give me a thumbs up for taking the time to do this properly. And do it like a science experiment should be done properly. None of that cheap junk where you're just gonna throw it on there and try it. This is from ground up, stripping it, claying it, and now waxing it. And I've shown you step by step what I've done. So here we go. Remember, the outsides are, have our, the actual controls. That means they have no wax on them at all. There we go. All right, there we go. Let's do this. Let's see. So there we go. Let me try it from the other side, see if maybe standing in the position is making any difference. Here you go right now from the angle. I really hope you can see this. 
giving it time to focus in there. Some good results here. And maybe it's just me, but I'm noticing from the Tech Wax and the Ultimate that it's beating up a lot more than it is in the Gold Wax or the Cleaner Wax. Do you guys notice that? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a not an expert at this or anything. I'm not one of the chemists at McGuire's, but just calling it how I see it, guys. Just calling it how I see it. One more test I'm going to do here in the end here is I'm actually going to pull the sprayer off the hose and just use a straight hose and we're going to see how it works out. So there you go. See now this side's beating up really good. The water just flows off instantly over here with the tech wax and the ultimate pace. Alright guys, here's going to be the final test. You can see right now there is absolutely nothing on this. So let's see what happens real quick here. Are right, we watching? Let's pull it away. Now we're watching it go down. There we go. So it looks like the Tech Wax and the Ultimate Wax is actually repelling much faster than the rest. I'm doing this dead down the middle now, nothing spe special. There you go. Now we're watching it. And we'll do it one last time here. Throw the hose down real quick. I'll turn off the water real quick and give you a second to talk. All right. So here we go, guys. I have really taken about an hour or two out of my time to make sure I did this right. And there you go. There's your results right there. I really hope I helped you out, guys. It does, You, from what you can tell, the Tech Wax and Ultimate Paste is going to be your better stuff right now. Gold Class is great. I've used it a lot. And your cleaner wax is for the people that maybe are n not so much into the uh, car scene, maybe they just don't have a couple extra dollars. But if you're gonna spend this much time on your car, spend the extra four or five dollars and get one of the higher end bland brands from Meguiar's. So there you go. Please give, give me a uh, chance to rate this. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe, I really appreciate it. It shows me a lot that you guys actually pay attention and you stuck with me all this time. So thank you very much, I really appreciate it. All right, take care, bye bye.